Hi guys and you're very welcome back to this Resident Evil Village playthrough. Now where we just left off was I had made my way to Heisenberg's quarters because I found the Heisenberg key, also known as the horsey key, uh, which I molded here and I also molded um, the ball I need for the labyrinth which is there, which is before. So if I make my way back to the merchant, move to B4, I can get to that puzzle. I also need to open up another Heisenberg room. I forget where that is. This isn't helping. I thought it was higher. Maybe, no. We kind of came up around there. We came through here, we came up. There it is. That's B1. Okay, so we need to do B4 for that, and then I need to move to B1. Now, where am I now? So to get back to the elevator... Oh god, I forget how I got... I probably have to go back this way and up the stairs. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, through here. That's a long way to go. So that's on my left. Is that the way? I forget how I got there. That doesn't seem right. No, it's probably this. Well, I don't know. How did I get down? Well, this makes more sense. No, because that's all this floor. That'll just bring me back around by the operating room. No, it has to be. It has to be this one. I remember it was very dark. And there's a lot of freaky board around. How do I get to that stairwell? Is it just attached there? I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? That goes down. Is that what we wanted? I guess it doesn't matter. As long as I... Well, no, this isn't the right way at all. This can't be it. I could be completely wrong, so excuse me if I am, but this doesn't feel... Right. What if I went that way? Does that get me to the same stairs? No. I don't think it's this area. So where the hell am I going? What if I... That just goes back to the way I came. That... I have to get down there. So maybe somewhere to my right. Where do you, ooh, yeah, torch on. Torch on, I remember it was really dark. And there's Borg things everywhere. So we're not a fan of those. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think there's one in front of me. <laughs> I can't see it, but I think it's there. Shit. We have a little bit of light here we could play with. Hang on. We also have a mine. Let's be smart about this. Are you on your own? Appears to be. No, whoa. Whoa, 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 he's a bad one. He's a bad one. Whoa, that hurt. He's a bad, oh wow. He took that like a champ. Where is he? Whoa, he took that like a champ and all. Okay. Today we'll be crafting a herb. What you need is a herb. <laughs> I don't know. Jesus, I gotta get past him fast. Well done to this guy. How are you alive? How? I don't understand. <laughs> what do I need to do to make you sit down? Oh, I'm not going back to the Magnum. I shouldn't have to. Come on. Oh my god. 
Then I tried to go through him. He was having none of it. Oh, come on. Oh, it just took a little more. Thank God. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, pop another one of those in. So really, you know, the smartest way to approach that, I think, is yeah, we're hitting him with the grenade, the first one though, and that should be it. That should be enough to knock off the armor that covers the weak spot. I think going forward, then we'll flip to flashes. And so that should give us a moment to just keep putting in DPS on his weak spot. So we'll leave it as it is for now. Hang on, if that was there, is this a new area? It can't be a new area. Where am I going? I don't know if I'm going the right way. Oh, stairs. Yeah, I have to be. How do I get there? Left, through here. Oh, God almighty above. It's going to be loads of them. This is where I historically fought them. Through here and left again, run. Well, the running part is not going to cut it. Now, we can get that down. That solves the first problem. Second problem is we've got the wrong ammo equipped. Oh, God almighty above. I'm just not having much luck with this. So, we'll just leave him in the dust. Gonna need a health item. ASAP. Can only craft one more health item. Still coming. Where am I now? Oh, elevator's this way. Is elevator... Is elevator a safe place? I don't know. Is any of this a safe place? He's got jetpacks, doesn't he? Is he the type that has jetpacks, or...? Oh, boy. Well, we've got loads of this ammo. It's just a shame it's... That's the flash equipped. And he's here, okay. Oh, boy. So it's really hard. Uh, do you know what? I, I say it's really hard. It's impossible to get past them until you've engaged them first. I mean, when I just tried to get around him there, he grabs me. He grabs me every time. Howdy. Oh, yes. You selling things now? No, still not selling things. Okay. Well, let me sell you some things that I've been finding around the place. Oh, Heisenberg's hammer goes for 45k. That brings it's me to 102,000. You know it's worth. Yes, 102,000. Okay. Um... going to keep bringing that up so we'll hopefully make any boss battle just that little easier um, Securing goods is more important. Till next we meet. so where did I say I wanted to go before and just across bye oh I hope this pans out Yeah, that checks out. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, so we made it here. I don't know how we're going to keep going. <laughs> we're going to exhaust everything we have just to get out of here, I'd say. All right, what's going on here? Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was looking on the top for some reason. This is an interesting one. Alright, goes down there. Oh no, I see now. Oh no, no, we don't want that happening. Nope. Alright, I don't know. What the hell? See, the thing is, I don't understand what happened there. Go. Oh, okay, I see. Not only do I have to hold it on there, but then I have to tilt forward hard as it approaches the next place so it gets off, or else it's just going to, um, 
it's just going to chill. So about now. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I blasted again. I, I couldn't see where it went at that point. This is the trickiest of them all by far. I love it. This is a shame like our... Oh, I hear him having a heart attack out there again. It's just a shame our vision is so blocked. Okay. So from this point we want to go tilt it like that, but also tilt it forwards. So that gets that gets us off. That didn't work. Again, that's just a guess. Visually I can't see anything, but it's my only move. back hard. Let's see if we, that gets us there. Now we have to worry about the minecart, do we? Come on ball, where are you? Yes. No, no, no. You're fine there, ball. So there is a hole at the left of the cart. Yes, okay, I see the track now. So we definitely want to wait until about here and then go. Yes. What does that get us? I think that gets us through. Oh, thank you, confetti! Alright, guys. Now, of course, I didn't figure that out as quickly as it appears. In fact, there was 16 to 20 minutes worth of attempts. A uh, little bonus video there up in the top right if you want to see those attempts. I never want to see them again, but they're there if you want. Anyway, it's done. I hope it was worth it. We're going to find out. Let's go and sell this. Ah, yes, yes. Yes, yes. 30,000. It was a lot of frustration for 30,000. Sell. Oh, where did you get your hands on such a thing? I don't want to talk about it. All right, so I get the rate of fire up. Yeah, Delighted to. just gotta keep working away here on the magnum. Alrighty. Please come again. Sure thing. So, guys, just a quick note: I've made my way up to B1. I used the Heisenberg key. I checked out this room, and then I made my way back to save. And thank God I did, because just as I was approaching this room the game froze up completely. I couldn't do anything. I had to, it wouldn't even let me um, put the PlayStation into rest mode. I thought I'd put it into rest mode, bring it back out. Nope, the PlayStation would go beep beep when I tried. I had to shut it down completely and uh, reboot it. Of course, I lost the, um, I lost the video of that. And the nearest save I had was just this save here because I hadn't saved for quite some time before this. So thank God when I got here, I turned back and hit the save first. I got very lucky there. Anyway, whew. so we're up on B1, as I said. We've opened the Heisenberg door. Had a quick look around here. It was just some bits and pieces. Oh. And uh, there was these notes as well about the guy that I think we're about to face, prototype. Uh, Sturm used a cheap turboprop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge too much power output from the reactor, completely invincible head on. But the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms off on the propeller. Also, issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion a complete failure. So, if that is who we're facing, we've got to like kite him around. Do you know what? I, I've already said this on the previous video, it sucks having to repeat this now. But yeah, what I was saying previously is we'll, we'll aim to try and kite him around and make him overheat if that's the case. We're also noting his completely invincible head on. So we don't want to do head on attacks. No, I, I got everything because this room is blue. Now, if you listen, 
don't know if you can hear that, but everything's shaking. So something big is moving and that's when I decided, let's go back and hit that save point just in case. Oh, thank God I did. Okay. Six of those. We have health kits. We have mines. Mm. Yeah. Let's see how we get on. Shit. Okay. Well, we're right. It is. It is the propeller, dude. Now we hit him up with a mine. Will that even matter? Let's see. Oh, never mind. Oh, god damn it. Just go, go, go. Didn't. Oh. Get around that way. Oh. Oh. Uh, I don't know what to do because I can't see him. All I know is I can't take him head on. Oh, god. Okay. Uh, oh, that's his head. Oh, god damn it. Can't see him. Oh, hang on. Okay, there's a reactor on his back. Just gotta get him to charge us. Oh, he hit me. Damn it. Just barely. I'll shotgun the reactor next time. We gotta keep him moving. Get him to overheat or something. We can get two in before he turns. Three, actually. One shotgun shell left. Oh, he's mad. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh. Okay, that's a new element. He's, um... Sugar. He can breathe fire. It didn't say that in the damn notes. Oh, shit. Turning too fast. Nope. Oh, fire. Oh, he just shoots it in a straight line. Okay, I thought it was going to be like a whole room deal. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't want to step into the fire. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, fire. Oh, he got me. Got me good. Can I run through that fire? Because I'm going to have to. Ugh. Yeah, it seems okay. I think, you know, we might... um, We might take one magnum shot, actually. Just, just a sneaky one. Right? He did not like that. Oh, fire. Ah... Uh. Oh, mine. Mine, mine, where are you? I seen a mine. It's spending too long trying to find it. There it is. Oh, damn it. There's no way out of here. Oh. Oh. Jesus, came out of nowhere there. Okay. Let's get him to run this way. Come on. Fire. Oh, 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 fire bad. Sometimes fire good, sometimes fire bad. Oh shit, just... Fire bad when freshly put down. Still moving. Oh, tell me this goes the whole way around. It does. Oh shit. Fire again. There's a lot of fire going on here. I could have used that time to put down a mine, actually, but... Ah, uh, we didn't. Here we are. Keep running. I'm not getting as many opportunities. On, I'm not getting any opportunities on his back. Nope. Well, that didn't help. Fire again. 
We'll try and get a, an explosive rocket there next time. Any more tricks up your sleeve? Nope. Oh, he turned straight around. Ah. There. Fire. God damn it. Not going like that. Oh boy. Not going like that at all. Oh. Sounds like he's coming behind me. Now, we'll use this time to put down a mine. He missed it. Oh, damn it. Well, it wasn't best, best place mine in the world, mind you. We got that time. Now stay down. I don't trust this. Oh, never mind. He's down. Okay. Ooh, that was, um... <laughs> that was like edge of your seat, kind of, where is he, where is he, where is he, but fun. It was hard to know at any given point. Is he on my back? Because you're trying to circle around to get... Because you're trying to circle around to uh, to get a shot on his back. But he's, oh, I don't know. That was fun, that was fun. Was this room blued? Nope. So there must be some more goodies here. The, I think the only thing I picked up was a mine. And that... <laughs> oh, here we go. Sniper rifle. Cool. Oh, there we go. Handgun ammo. Blued. Okay. So, this way. We're into the... Well, we're not into the cargo bay yet. There's a small little room there. It's a treasure, but just valuable. Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of failed Cadu experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body, she took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Megamycete. The trick is that brat, Rose. If I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. Why, well, thank you. Maybe I could get him to help me out. I didn't go so well, dude. But, um, yeah, I mean, Heisenberg again, right? He, he doesn't seem to be out to kill us, so to speak. He just wants done with her. I, if only he was made clearer in what sense we would use Rose. Like, for all we know, what he means by all of this is, oh, I just need a swab for DNA. And that could be Rose's entire part, in which case we'd be like, here you go, take 10 swabs, and now we're out of here. I mean, let's... Oh, something over here. Let's try and figure this out first. Yep, there's a room here. Nope, oh, yep. Yeah. We can go in. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on the matter. We got a herb? Good, we need herbs. Uh, chem fluid. Metal scrap. Drawer. With shotgun ammo. Good, 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 good. Hang on. We have one more explosive um, round. And that will, uh, that will be us. Oh, my health isn't uh, looking too hot either. 
I'm going to craft another one. Just so I can heal myself up and have one to hand were I to need it. Okay, so there's a jump down area here. And nowhere else along. So we're going this way. Oh, okay, we have a little box here. Some rust is grappling. Kind of hoping for the herb there, but um, I'll take the rust to scrap. New. No. Oh, there's a box over here as well. Damn it. More metal scrap, okay. Now we're going this way. It's pretty all we can do. Watch your balance. Oh, let's uh, let's go. Oh. Well, that's just handy. Uh, another blue room. How? I've been here. Well, this have been where I entered then? I have no recollection of first floor, yeah. This must have been where I initially entered or, or came around. Maybe this was locked at the time. And it's a blue room, so no point in searching it. Yeah. Just open it up. What the? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Ethan. We're all the way back down in B5. Whoa. Um, one thing I will say, though, again, Heisenberg had a chance to take us out there, and he didn't. He just told us not to come back. So that's interesting. There's a, an opening there. Yeah, just a lot of water, so... This looks like our play. It is blue. And now? Red. Okay, we're going into a red room. How do I... When you see red, you think, ooh, supplies, ammo. Oh, we can get through this way. What I'm seeing is nothing. I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? 
What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything! That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. That was quite the transformation from Chris, wasn't it? Like, quite the 180 from the very start, from punching us, throwing us around, even here. It's like, because things are way more complicated when civilians get involved, or whatever he said. To there at the end, all right, Ethan, I'll meet you on the surface. Big smile when I say I'll kill Miranda. What a 180. Still, redemption for Chris. Two, the Hound Wolf Squad. The sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the mutamycete, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winters' home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. When she attacked, it put a little damper on her plans, so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made from a metal polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Alpha. Few thoughts there again. Um, going back to the very start of the game, the transport truck that I woke in, so I was thinking maybe we were all in different transport trucks, but now I'm thinking maybe we were all in the same transport truck. So the corpse, who we thought was Mia, who Chris and co knew wasn't Mia, Rose, and myself. That would have been a little cruel, right? Transporting us alongside a corpse of who we think is Mia? Anyway. Um, so then apparently she woke up, killed everyone, grabbed Rose, and left me. Weird. Although she did say something about needing me for a ceremony so maybe that's it but still why was chris well, this team driving us here when they thought they'd already killed mother miranda why i don't understand still a little lost this hasn't cleared it up chris chris he's um he's taken off he's very quick to take off like that just before you have any question questions all right, that's a health kit. We'll take that. Is that the only one? No. And we get the cool little machine. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, we'll see. It says there's more. But I'm not seeing any more. And I'm, I'm okay red rooming at this point. No, oh, here we go. Herb, nice. What are we looking at here? We'll see how we get on. Oh, you gotta hold the button. So we'll hold down the button. See what this does. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. I'm coming, Rose. Oh, I was expecting a cutscene. It's actually me. Forward, backwards. Oh, a machine gun feels good. Uh, hold. That's the cannon. And then you. Oh, and then it reloads. Okay. Guard. Gotta start guarding. Um, right. Oh, I jump on. It's already moving. Ah, I was gonna start shooting some Bork. Bah. Oh yeah, I like this machine. It's a pity. Ooh, I wonder if you can start off with this. Imagine that. What a, what a cool unlock. I'm in an arena. Oh, Eisenberg. This will be my work before I kill the bitch. Let's lock. That looks like a weak point. Oh, lock. Just caught it. Oh, we got quite the blast there. It blew him back and me. Oh, he's moving his weak point. Nice. Oh, very nice. Waiting for that reload on the cannon. Oh crap. Block. I think I missed the block, I'm not sure. Checking my health. Oh, my health's fine. Here it comes again. Nope. So far, so good. There. The weak spot keeps moving, but it's hanging around the arms. And then when he does this, it's just that one. Can't see. Now I'm. Oh, there it is. We'll just try and keep him at a distance. Oh. Uh oh. Stop. Oh, crap. Machine gun would not work there. Cannon did. Whoa. Oh no, where's my machine? Okay, okay, okay. We need explosive rounds. Because there's a big guy there. Ah, oh, crap. And, um, I can't run. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Die like the world's watching. Too bad I'm your only fan. Headshots, really? Crap. Are these on which side? Hang on. Right. Just give up. Oh god. This isn't David and Goliath. Where's your head? And running. Well, running didn't help. How's health looking? Not great. Okay, brilliant. Explosive rounds. Hardly. Come on. Turn. Oh god. I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg on, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Calm yourself. Rose will be safe. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. 
I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> I've waited so long, but dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child again. Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. We'll get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Since we fought together, Captain. When was the last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. Okay, this has taken a twist. I was, um... When I seen Ethan's heart come out, I was honestly beginning to cringe, thinking, is he going to put it back in like he put on his right hand? So, no, um, that didn't happen. And what a bombshell. Um, so, yeah, I'm in control of Chris now. I have the weapon. I have some weapons. Ooh, that's a silenced one. There's a few things we're going to have to play around with here. We've got quite a bit of ammo. We've got a med injector that fully heals all wounds. I can't put up a map, funny enough. But uh, no, brilliant. So that seems to conclude the Heisenberg chapter and, <laughs> funny enough, perhaps, maybe, the Ethan chapter as well. So we'll end the video right here. When we next take it up, we begin the Chris chapter, I think. I don't know. Man, that's just... I do not see that coming at all. That's really... Uh, wow. Well, I'm going to leave it here. Guys, thank you so much as always for tuning in. If you like the video, please do take a moment to hit the like button and like the video. While a small act to you, it means the world to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.